Hi, Mom. Hello. Meow. Meow. Airplane. I'm off to the flying start. Hello, my name is Luca. I'm a first year biology student at the University of Birmingham. Uh, I love studying biology, but I don't like studying the base of the flower. I think it's got a certain stigma attached. <laughs> I didn't always want to study, but I was, yeah, I'm going to be that sort of person. Anyway. <laughs> um, I didn't always want to study biology, though. Know. I originally wanted to study finance. I wanted to work for one of those big banks with lots, lots of money, like uh, the Clays or Lloyd's Teaspoon. <laughs> um, yeah, so when, when I'm not studying and I'm, I'm not revising, I quite like doing this in my spare time. Okay? Netflix. <laughs> 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 so, oh, we're both here. Oh, good. So, really, I can see you now. I can see you. I can see you in the back. It's not my scope for that joke. <laughs> <laughs> famous because they found a moon thing went there. Now, if I was a university and I was trying to make myself look famous, I wouldn't play that card. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks. Um, I was thinking I'd get on with my flatmates. Uh, we had quite an awkward conversation, though, because uh, we were back on a night out and I had a bottle of beer and uh, I wanted to put it in the freezer just for a few minutes. A bit of a freezer, and my family Joe comes down and goes like, Oh, hey, mate, look at me, mate, mate, you can't do that. You can't put a bottle of beer in the freezer, but the, the glass might expand. He, he's Jordan, by the way. I said, Joe, no, no, um, you've got your physics all wrong. It's not the glass will expand, it's the, the glass will expand. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> yeah, so um, I go to the University of Birmingham, but I'm um, I'm originally from Cambridge. Uh, I'm from a, a tiny village south of Cambridge called uh, Trumpington. And Trumpington's famous, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> famous for cartography. In fact, it's, it's what puts it on the map. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm from a little bit, a little bit of Trumpington, Cambridge, uh, and, um, but I'm also half Italian. So, and I've lived in England all my life, so I feel British definitely. But there's some moments where I realised maybe I am slightly Italian. And um, for, for example, five years ago there was um, there was a story in the BBC World News. Uh, a dock worker had died because he'd been crushed by a shipping container for the pasta. And most people would have seen this story and thought, oh, it's really sad if someone's died, a dock worker. But I was there for hours screaming at TV, going, what shape of pasta? <laughs> <laughs> and then the pen only dropped. <laughs> Then the actual type, the actual shape pasta was a uh, fusilli. Okay, it's just fine without control. <laughs> but the actual shape pasta was a um, lasagna. Okay, I'm, I'm going to tell another joke and start on a clean sheet. Um, <laughs> okay, let's get this out of the way. Oh, look at this. Who wants to hear a joke about this? Yay. Yeah, uh, uh, actually, I'm not going to. No, no. Oh. What's it out of it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Need a for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we have just my pasta, and that leads me swiftly on to the next trick. So, um, I quite like cooking. Um, I don't tell any jokes about uh, uh, oats or uh, wheat or, or barley. I think it goes against the grain. <laughs> um, I also I give quite a lot of advice about how to make uh, sweet meals slightly more savoury. What you do is uh, take my advice for a future salt. <laughs> this is something I cooked recently, so here we go. Nay. 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 Nay.
Thank you. 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 Thank you.